Now, in this question is asking, answer Real. So this is the list one and the reagents of selected chemical reactions. List two gives the structures of the compound that may be formed as the intermediate products and or the final product from the reaction of the list one. So there is another list, list two. Now in this type of questions, in which what I want to say that the option is the fourth one, then the third one, fourth and third. Now we have to apply the common sense means he is asking which of the following options has the correct combination considering the list one and list two. The reaction number one and two means the reactions which are given 1 and 2 they cannot be the answer right it means that we have to choose from the third equation and the fourth equation so we have to solve for the third one and the fourth one so let's start with the third one so the solution of this particular question will be our compound which is given is a benzene ring with CH2Cl and ester group. So a benzene ring is given to us and here is CH2Cl and COOCH3. So this is the ester group and after this what he is doing? He is adding KCN. So, the nucleophilic substitution reaction will take place. So, he is adding KCN and we know that it will break into K plus and CN minus and CN minus will attack here and CL minus will go out and we will get a product which is CH2 C, N and nothing will happen to this ester group, it will be as it is, right. So in the next step, he is hydrolyzing it. So cyanide, whether it is hydrolyzing in acidic medium or basic medium will convert into the carboxylic acid. And of course, the hydrolysis of ester will take place and we will get the product having two carboxylic acids and that will be CH2, COOH and COOH. So this is the product and after that he is adding LiLH4. Now this LiLH4 is very good reducing agent it will reduce the carboxylic acid to alcohol and LiAlH4 it will reduce the carboxylic acid and we will get CH2 CH2 OH and here we will get CH2 OH right after this he is adding concentrated H2SO4 and we all know that concentrated H2SO4 cause dehydration. So concentrated H2SO4. So dehydration of this particular compound will take place and one hydrogen and OH will be removed from here and the product which we will get is it will have a benzene ring then CH2 then CH2 then oxygen 
then C H 2 and it means that we will get a 6 membered ring attached to the benzene ring. So, let us see where it is given. Now, in the options he is saying that in the third reaction T and U will form right. So, this is T yes this is forming in this particular reaction this is U and this is cyclic ester but cyclic ester is not forming in this reaction that is why this is wrong and we can say that B cannot be the answer. Now in the option D again the third reaction is given and the products are S and R. Let us see what is S and what is R. So, S is this product having two carbon atom. Now, that is also not forming. That is why D cannot be the answer. It means that B and D are not the answer. We have to choose the answer from A and C. For that, we have to carry out the fourth reaction and reaction fourth. So, there is a benzene ring and two ester groups are attached to it and if you start the fourth reaction, the reactant is benzene ring we have and it is having COO CH3 and CH2 COO CH3 right. So, this is the reactant and let us see what he is adding in the reaction. First LiLH4 and we know that LiLH4 is very good reducing agent. So, if it is very good reducing agent then it will convert these esters to alcohol. So, using LiLH4 we will get the product in which it will be CH2OH and here it will be CH2 CH2OH right. So, this will be the product and in the last step he is adding concentrated H2SO4 means dehydration will take place. So, if dehydration is taking place means we have to remove water from here. So, like this we can remove water. We are adding the concentrated H2SO4 and by this we will get a product. The final product that will be CH2 O CH2 and CH2 and this. So, this is the product which we will get. Let us see what he is asking. Now, according to the option A, in fourth reaction Q and R should form. So, what is Q? Q. This is Q. This is forming in our reaction and R. This was our final product. So, Q and R both are forming in this reaction, right. So, if we talk about the C option, in the fourth reaction, he is saying that Q and U will form and U is benzene ring having cyclic ester attached to it. Again, it will not form in the fourth reaction that means our answer will be the, the option A. So, the answer is option A, right. So, let us move on to the next question.